becoming a queen. Um, and it's about a young guy who goes through some really tough family stuff and heals himself through drag by becoming a queen that he loved. Um, and, and then using, because that's been my experience with drag, is that once like you come to terms with it, then it starts you know, fixing things that even have nothing to do with your sexuality. So I love that question because I wanted it to open with, and it keeps get. he's literally getting applause for being in a dress, and then he spends, you know, 200 pages being like, but I couldn't possibly wear a dress again. <laughs> the genesis of the book for me was the healing power of drag, and I wanted to write a book where drag was the solution and not the problem. There are so many amazing books where your LGBTQ identity is the problem. You know, like the thing that you have to overcome and the thing that your family has to learn how to love. And those are amazing books that I love, but I just wanted for myself to write something where his identity was the thing that fixed the problem, that fixed this horrible problem. Um, and so the healing power of drag specifically, I think is a really sneaky way to heal because you are a character. And I myself have processed many emotions that I would never articulate as myself. Like I would never, even to my closest friend in the world, be like, I'm sad that guy broke up with me. But in drag, I can be like, I'm sad that guy broke up with me. No, I'm not sad, she's sad. Um, and so I think drag is this very safe place to, and for Mark to explore his emotions with grief because there is this filter that makes it a little bit of distance where you can, the same when you're writing fiction, like you can express certain things at a safe distance because you're like, oh, no, that's not me, that's somebody else. And I think drag has that fictional element. Um, and it just has healed a lot of things for me, so I kind of wanted to, you know, tell the children. <laughs> this can help a lot. Oh, Pete, not like I'm some, well, we are in a church. I don't know if you lean in. Um, but can I help people skip past a little bit of what I find an unnecessary shame or doubt or insecurity? And like Carrie is very much about like trying to give people that boost. And so this I view as like an extension of that, but for an audience who maybe hasn't even heard of Sex in the City and just a book, right? I know, if they haven't, they should fix it. Um, <laughs> But just a book that like tries to get in there and maybe help fix insecurities before they have time to fully set. Yeah, I love that idea.